From the house where Delphine LaLaurie tortured and murdered her slaves, to houses that spawned horror movies like the Amityville Horror, we take a look at 12 Terrifying Houses of Murder. Number 12. Green River House Auburn, Washington is a little-known town. In fact, its biggest claim to fame is that one of America's most infamous serial killers, Gary Ridgway, resided there. Over a span of two decades, Ridgway killed more than 48 women. He confessed to luring ladies from bars and actually had a selection process, part of which was determining whether or not they were a hooker. Several bodies of his victims were buried next to one another near the last house in which he resided. Number 11. Hex Murder House The Hex Murder House became sensationalized after the murder that took place there. Apparently, three men went to the home of Nelson Raymeyer because they thought they had been hexed or cursed by him. Their intent was to burn one of Nelson's books, thereby lifting any curses he may have cast against them. Nelson refused to give in to the men's requests, so they consequently beat him to death and set his house on fire. Number 10. LaLaurie Mansion The LaLaurie Mansion is the former residence of Madame Delphine LaLaurie. She was wealthy and popular and a serial killer. She regularly starved, bound, and tortured her slaves. This was an ongoing occurrence until a fire destroyed part of her home in 1834. Despite its gruesome past, the home, which was restored in 1888, is now open as a secondary school as well as a shelter for youthful delinquents. Number 9. Clear Lake Clear Lake City, Texas became front page news in 2001. The media sensationalized the case of Andrea Yates, who was arrested for drowning her five children in the bathtub, one at a time. Rusty, her husband, was at work during the murders. But after receiving a chilling telephone call from his wife telling him that it was time, he hurried home as fast as he could. Andrea had secured the bodies of all the children in sheets and laid them outside with their dead eyes completely open. She was put on trial for the murders and found not guilty by reason of insanity. Number 8. Menendez Murder House As if Beverly Hills wasn't in the spotlight enough, privileged brothers Lyle and Eric Menendez, 21 and 18 years old respectively, put Beverly Hills back into the spotlight in August of 1989. Their father, Jose Menendez, was shot in the head at point-blank range. Their mother, Kitty, attempted to get away but was shot several times herself. After first avoiding suspicion, the Menendez brothers were finally charged with the killings and eventually confessed to having slain their parents. They claimed they were victims of abuse, which drove them to the violent crime. Number 7. Kreischer Mansion This beautiful Queen Anne home was built by affluent brickmaker Balthazar Kreischer in the 1800s. But it was just one part of the family estate. Another house was built alongside the original one specifically for his child, Charles. A notable argument occurred between father and son, and soon after, Charles's mansion mysteriously burned to the ground. Kreischer and his wife were both pronounced dead in the fire. Local residents still to this day believe that the spirits of the couple remain trapped on the estate. Number 6. Manson Family Murder House In one of the most famous criminal acts in American history, the Manson family assaulted the inhabitants of this house on August 9, 1969. Charles Manson specifically requested that his four aiding individuals made the scene as gruesome as they could. They brutally slaughtered performer Sharon Tate, who was pregnant at the time, and four other victims. Investigations and testimony have revealed that Tate begged for the life of her unborn child. She was ultimately stabbed 16 times. Number 5. The Soden House this house was owned by Dr. George Hodel from 1945 to 1951. Hodel, a Los Angeles doctor, was the prime suspect in the notorious Black Dahlia murder. At the time of the original investigation, however, he was never actually named such. 
It wasn't until 2003 when Hodel's son, Steve, a former homicide investigator for the Los Angeles Police Department, revealed in his book Black Dahlia Avenger that the Dahlia, whose real name was Elizabeth Short, was tortured, murdered, and dissected by his own father at the Soden House in 1947. Number 4. The Lizzie Borden House Fall River, Massachusetts was the home of Andrew Borden and his wife Abby. Andrew's daughter, Lizzie, was blamed for the frightful and gruesome killings of both Abby and Andrew. Both were killed with an axe, Abby sustaining 19 wounds, and Andrew suffering 11 axe hits to the head. Although Lizzie was not convicted of the crime, many people still hold the belief that she was involved in some way. Number 3. The Cleveland Strangler Murder House It was obvious from a young age that Anthony Sowell would exhibit criminally savage behavior. At just 11 years of age, he raped his own niece. He spent a short time in the U.S. Marine Corps, but upon exiting the military, he was sentenced to 15 years in prison for attempted rape. Even after his release, his criminal behavior continued. He assaulted and raped a woman in her home in September of 2009. A few weeks later, after it had been reported to the police, they went to his house to investigate and make an arrest. Sowell, who eventually became known as the Cleveland Strangler, wasn't home at the time. But they did find two bodies in the front room. Number 2. Jeffrey Dahmer's House Although most of his major crimes were not committed there, the childhood home of serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer was still available in August of 2014, in spite of being listed for sale six months prior. This home was the site of Dahmer's first casualty, Stephen Hicks, in 1978. Dahmer took several of Hicks' remaining body parts and scattered them around outside the house. After his arrest in 1991, Dahmer admitted to murdering 17 men and boys in the 13-year span. He was convicted of his crimes and was himself murdered in prison in 1994. Number 1. The Amityville Horror House Confirmed murder and rumors of paranormal activity have made the Amityville Horror House the notorious attraction it is today. The home is the site of the 1974 DeFeo killings. Ronald DeFeo Jr. used a shotgun to murder his entire family after hearing voices and being encouraged by dark shadows in the house. Roughly a year after the murders, the six-room house was purchased, for a very reasonable rate, by new owners George and Kathy Lutz. The fact that the Lutzes also claim to have experienced several paranormal events has given the Amityville Horror House the reputation it has today. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos every week 